Hello everybody, my name is Psycho Tyrant and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Absalom End of Gods. In our last episode we met Henrik, explored Niflheim and now we've been tasked with Um, finding the key, I believe, or a proved remote link in the medical research. Collectible. Most things in the facility are always handled with extreme caution, while some just aren't. We're hundreds of meters below the surface in northern Sweden. If something happens, it could be hours before help arrives. Above that, some of the artifacts clearly emit energy fields that could be a potential long-term health risk. The statue in the center of the facility has hundreds of people walking by it all day. Not to mention the gigantic hammer that was carelessly placed in a room where serious scientists, including myself, are working unprotected right next to it. My PDA tablet was low on battery this morning, but when I got back to my quarters, the battery was almost full. This just can't be right. Interesting. So maybe it was the hammer? So. Another one. Perfect. I don't know why, but when I came into this room, it might give me very amnesia vibes. In the floor ahead of you, there's a battery. In case of a facility wide power failure, they can be charged to power equipment in smaller areas. Young Graper has the ability to remotely charge these batteries with large and small bursts. When you're done with it, you can just take the energy right back, like any power station. This will make the area go dark. I don't want to make the area go dark, but when I said it reminds me of amnesia, like the part when oh, I forgot what it was, it was on the first game, and this was like a loop around. That was like a massive table and whatnot. I'll have to play Amnesia on this channel. Sometime. Oh, don't. Oh. I thought that was like. Without, like. If the amount of times I charge it up in my hand, that it would mess it up. But shoot this? No. Ooh. I've got a bad feeling about this, so I'm just going to encounter the dog. Yeah. 
Oh. But before I zap that, let me get my recharge back. Before it overloads, it's used to destroy evil magic. But be wary, different creatures will react differently to the power, so be careful when using it. Use the large atrium burst to destroy the Jotun Wraith that stops your path. What is that? I'm scared to go near it, but bloody hell, he is tall. Oh. Okay. Oh. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Don't forget that while you're charging the arm, you can cancel the charge at any time to avoid overloading it. Thanks, man. By the gods. I see that ahead of you, there's a whole lot of vermin. The myth describes them as trolls. We accidentally brought them back from Midgard on an expedition to retrieve a mythical harp from a magical creature which we destroyed. Back then, they were blind. But when they started spreading here, they, uh, they evolved. And now, they aren't blind anymore. Oh, well, that's perfect. Fast. Always be ready for the large pulse of young vapor. That's just perfect, isn't it? You know, why get my hopes up and say they're blind and then... Tell me straight after, oh, they're not blind anymore, they've evolved. Of course they have. Oh, that's, that's more than a bit dull. I don't like the splishy splashes. Oh, that's not so bad. I think I've encountered one of them before in the last episode. When I opened that one room. Just testing it out. <clears throat> so I want to know, like, am I going to have to fully charge to kill these trolls? Not that I probably will be able to, because. If we said they react differently, probably just stun them or something. Yeah. 
I don't like pipes. Don't even think about it. Fucking hell. <sighs> Jesus. I really didn't want to invest in a face cam. Just to capture my reaction to that. <laughs> that was not nice. I did like that one bit. I wish I had actual light instead of having to use this like... Oh, don't. Don't even think about it. Don't even consider it a possibility. At. That, that is the source of the power you are wielding, and the thing powering the whole facility, Mjolnir, the hammer of the gods. You can charge Yangre, but from the energy outlet, on the hammer, and don't forget your portable power cells if you end up without power suddenly. After this, you might lose connection as soon as you go into the upper level, so, uh, good luck. Might be a stupid fort, but why can't I just take a piece of that, like, grab a piece off of this metal arm, snap a bit off and put it in my pocket, and then there you go, unlimited power. Might sound stupid, but it's got some cracks in it, might be able to, like, take a piece out of it. Oh, that sound like kids, that is, ugh. I what? What are you doing? I will blast your ass into oblivion if I see another one of you guys. I'm not afraid. Don't have any idea that that's a vent that I could probably crawl out of. Oh, it's open. Sweet. But how are these open if they're level 5 clearance?
Wait, 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 wait. Go away, go away, come fuck out. I mean, it could be worse. It could be so much more worse. Yeah, before I do that, which is probably like... There'll probably be loads of them running about, I guarantee it, as soon as I lift that lock. They'll all just start jumping on a window. I guess I was wrong. I was expecting them to just... Why the action user? more of them. Shall I go down here? Yes. Oh yeah, because I didn't go for this one. I can hear you. Wherever you are. Let me quickly recharge. No quick look at this. So this game still doesn't make any sense to me, that's all I've got to say. I don't know what's going on in this place. Tracy Remain. Rem That's the reason when I first seen that, I thought it said Tracy Remembers or something. Many demon childs need to be put back. Six, seven, that does not lock. Fun. Encounter. Where did I see a cold? Ugh. Not from all the way back out there.
Oh, here we go. Finally found out. What am I looking at? Oh, pods. Wait, not pods, I'm cargo. I thought it was like. Oh, I don't like the idea that I just. Oh god. It's off. Finally, some light. Day 30. The subject is growing at an alarming rate and has already doubled in size. It also exhibits minor cognitive abilities, emotions on the level of an older child, and something that seems to be memories. Day 83. The subject is very drawn to the female from the human trials. She is not yet conscious, but the subject is very keen on staying close to her, almost like he's guarding her. Day 95. The creature is growing and is getting harder to contain. The subject went on a rampage when he discovered that the female was moved during the night. After destroying the holding area, he was sedated and moved to a location closer to the female. If growth doesn't cease, termination of the subject might be necessary. So... That sounded like... I'm guessing it was referencing the dog? Maybe? Oh, you were joking. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. God, I hate you so much. Let's 
That's like a generator from Resi 4. Have a little baby. Please give me some charge in here. I need something to defend myself. Oh, thank God. Well, thank the gods, I could say. <sighs> Please don't be in this vent. Uh, nope, I'm fine. Sounds like they're just dragging stuff about. <laughs> what key signature already scanned, does that mean? What do you mean key signature already scanned? I'm not going to be able to get that either, am I? Shit. If I had a guess, whatever... Maybe it's not a dog, maybe that like giant hunk of flesh... ...from the start. Because that's the same slate I was on at the start of the game. Yeah, that's the same surgeon pod, if you could even call it that. That's like the same thing he came out of. And I'm assuming when they said they can't it gets annoyed when it's not near her. I'm guessing that was reference to me. Oh God. Please don't. Go away. That's all I needed. Go, 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 go. <sighs> See, as I was saying, I'm assuming that's the mass flesh that was on the that, like, whatever the dude was on about at the start, that's who was on the table. 
and he always he gets annoyed when it comes to me. Because if I remember in... Or not. Maybe it's the dog. I assume that the dog was human for a second there. Henrik? Yes. I have access to the database. Your creation was a meld of a female subject. Alice. For... An artifact tissue. For what purpose? By the gods. There was another creature before you. What? Artifact tissue from the outskirts of Asgard in combination with human tissue to create an enormous beast. A wolf. The file describes the creature as ever-growing, with minor intelligence and... During your creation, you were guarded by the beast, which seems to be emotionally attached to you for some reason. How could you possibly not know about this going on? <sighs> I'm afraid this occurred after the spirit took control. What, it must be behind this. What are you talking about? What is the spirit? And I how- I knew this would only raise more questions. <sighs> I'm sorry, I can risk your safety for this, my dear. Get back to Henrik as soon as possible so we can locate the next key and end this nightmare. She's right. Head back down here. I'll answer any questions you've got. So it was the dog, it wasn't the big meat thing. If you can even call it a big meat thing. Wait, so if it's, if it's got it by me, and it likes me. Then it's just a big puppy then. <laughs> it's... Maybe I can use it to my advantage? Maybe. Wait, is this could just go back? Yeah, that's just back the way I came. Maybe it's just a big papa. A friendly doggo. Oh, thank you. Oh, hello. Yes, thank you. No, please. So far, you've met my- You said you'd answer my questions. <sighs> Fine. Ask away. I don't know where to start. What is this place? What I built this. Spent years of mortal life toiling away at plans, scraping together resources and favors to turn this into reality. A place to research the things thought to be myth and superstition. A place to research the Absalom, the last divine artifact left in Midgard. You've already seen it, on your way down. That statue, upstairs? At first, we used ancient knowledge and combined it with Boar Corp technology to open rifts between worlds. We made enormous progress, discovered new worlds and unimaginable technologies. But some unwanted things came back with us, entering our world. And now everything is just falling apart I'm trapped down here, and we have lost control of the entire facility. The only way to stop the world from falling into chaos is to collect nine keys and insert them into the Absalom. The artifact acts as the gate, and the keys will keep Midgard from being littered with the roots spreading across the surface. And unless we stop it, our existence and that of all living things will become endless. How... how do you know where the keys are? 
years of research alone and with my associates, scouring through endless texts of the Nine Worlds. Who is Alice? Enough questions! You have the key! Order must be restored to the realms of Yggdrasil, and the evils from beyond must be locked down. Insert this key into the Absalom and remember what I've taught you. Do that and you will succeed. Now get out of here, go! You're a bit of a dickhead, aren't you? <clears throat> That's what's going on with his skin, it's like rippled, but... Also, when, I, when he was talking, I was looking at this, and like... That's the Statue of Liberty, that's a city. Does that mean... Our technology exists with the Vikings, so the Vikings are a complete different species or something. But that's all the time I've got for this episode. I'll pick this up in the next episode and hopefully we'll find out more about who Henrik is. About the Absol of, um, hopefully, see this big pupper. And if you enjoyed this content, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you hopefully in my next video. I do.